Welcome back to Our Issues Milwaukee. I'm your host, Andrea Williams. Students who attend Milwaukee Public Schools will return to the classroom on September 1st, and my next guests are here to tell us more about a new collaborative that will provide exposure, support, and mentorship to 300 young black males through the coming school year. Deontay Lewis is the program manager with the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Milwaukee, and Andre Lee Ellis is the executive director of We Got This Incorporated. Good morning, fellas. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here now. One of you has to start off telling us about this new Black Male Collaborative. I think Deontay would be the best person <laughs> for that because I sort of came in afterwards and his organization, I believe, is one of the lead organizations mm -hmm. too. I know you guys are paying a lot of the bills. <laughs> right. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. So Deontay, if you would. Yeah, so ahead. the Black Male Collaborative basically come together to show that when we team up and we join forces, we're able to, there's nothing that we can't accomplish. I think for so many years, especially for myself growing up in the Boys and Girls Club, for so many years it was separate. Mm -hmm. um, so bringing everything together, all of the resources that we have together, because we were all fighting for the, for the same dollar, uh, but we we're trying to impact the same kids. So um, this, this collaborative coming together, we're, we're connecting with one another to really make a powerful impact on black males, centered around black males that op and how they operate in Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we formed a collaborative and it's coming, to coming together really well uh, when we merge in all of the different youth server organizations to change the way that these young males operate. Yeah, so it's kind of like that concept of it takes a village. Exactly. And so yeah. here we are uh, at least getting the word out so right. that people will know that this is uh, taking off like wildfire because uh, you guys already have a big event that's planned and we'll talk a little bit about mm -hmm. that but Andre first if you could uh, give us an idea of the organizations that have come together uh, under this umbrella. Okay you've got Boys and Girls Club, you have uh, Running Rebels, mm -hmm. you have the Black Male Achievement Program, you have the My Brother's Keeper um, Initiative, We Got This Incorporated. I, I, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. not thinking is there Operation Your, Dream as well? Yeah. Oper Operation Dream and Universal Companies right. as well. And so the, the reason why I got excited, we got this, is that we have a summer program, but we have about 100 young men. All of the other groups have year-round programs and schools. Mm -hmm. And so they have a lot of opportunity to exercise those young men and too. Yeah, and what I love is that uh, we've had uh, many of the representatives from these organizations on the program to talk about the great things we do. We've had the executive right. director of the Boys and Girls Club, Andre. This is like uh, your third time a charm on the I'm show. I'm happy to be a part and, of the I class. I mean, we're just really uh, <laughs> proud of everything yeah. that all of you have been able to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Raheem Islam has been on the show yes. talking about universal companies, and it's just that uh, when we're exposed to the positive, there is really no limit to what can come of this. So uh, with that in mind, uh, what are some of the ways that you guys will be mentoring these young men, these 300 young men? And I can't help mm -hmm. but wonder, how did you come up with the number 300? I think th 300 is the number that we, we were in a meeting and it just sounded, it had a punch to it. Okay. Um, it really came out as a 300, oh, you hear 300, the movie, and things of that uh, uh, align with that. So uh, that, that was a very powerful thing. But mm -hmm. as far as the mentorship go, going back to uh, your earlier point, uh, it takes a village. Mm -hmm. And we understand that the village is greater than those, the youth serve organizations that are at the table. So although we are creating the infrastructure of how we will go forward with this, we're reaching out to the community. Uh, straight grassroots, trying to get the the big brother that nat never had the opportunity. Let's get him and bring him in and be able to share his experiences uh, with the young men and actually really be able to uplift them in that regard. So we're not we're though we're at the table, we're bringing everybody collectively together, which is why the collaborative part comes in mm -hmm. uh, because it goes greater than us, and we've understand it. we're understanding that we're putting our mission statements. Uh, to the side for the greater mission for the young black males in there. So. On, on that day at 12 o'clock, the young people will come to the park and the first thing they'll do is they'll eat and they'll be served by the men. Men will be there serving them because we're mainly 
Um, the program is for young black males. And so the men will serve them. The men will do the libations. Um, on that day, the mentoring will be that the organizations already have mentors attached to these young men. So they get to come for an outside outing away from their normal stuff. Now, you're At, speaking of this uh, big event, rally big that rally. you're going to be yeah. doing on September 26th. That's a place where the mentoring will start and, and continue. OK, and that is the 300 strong rally. Oh, okay. So uh, the focus is, as you just stated, encouraging black males who face increased risk of high school dropout, mm -hmm. uh, negative law enforcement interaction, violence, homicide, and incarceration. And I think the thing that uh, a lot of people would shake their head over is that we shouldn't be talking about young people going through these issues and these scenarios, but it happens each and every day. So instead of just shaking our heads, there is something that is being done. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's so important that people understand uh, how they too can get involved. So uh, who's gonna be taking part in this rally? What can people look forward to? People can look forward to a, to a number of things. They're gonna have a lot of information, number one, from the organizations, mm -hmm. so that people can um, know where to send their children or where and to And utilize start. the organizations. And, and utilize yeah. the organizations. We're gonna also have good, clean entertainment, so that we can begin to show our young people that everything doesn't have to be negative, or, or you have to listen for the negative, listen for the positive messages, and go more towards that. You're gonna see brilliant young people coming forward and speaking, young people doing um, uh, poetry and, and, and other entertainment things and talking about um, how to move forward because I think one thing we do is we talk about it at the young people but do we hear and listen to them. Mm, major point there and this concept um, is pretty amazing in the sense that you know we've always known that all of these organizations and I failed to mention we've also had a representative from Running Rebels mm -hmm. on the show before as well and so you all do uh, something a little different but ultimately kids walk away with a positive right. experience they want more out of life and you see the results so uh, if there's uh, a parent who's watching and they're wondering can they get their young person involved uh, is there any information that they can take with them? Of course. Um, if, if you if you want to get involved, uh, you can contact us on any of the sites um, with the Boys and Girls Club, the Running Rebels. Uh, we got this Facebook. We have multiple uh, venues through there, um, but it, and we're actually going to create an invite um, on Facebook, and that's going to be up coming up this uh, probably by Friday. Um, so just find us. We'll we'll find you. Uh, we, uh, we don't want you to put too much work in. We we'll find we'll find you to really get that because it's our job to get that information out there to you guys. Mm -hmm. That's right, and at the event, we're gonna have an area where all of the organizations will have tables set up with information so that parents and young people that come can take that away with them. Okay, mm -hmm. I love it. The details of the 300 Strong Rally, once again, it's Saturday, September 26, from 12 to 4 p.m. That's at the Washington Park Band Shell, 1849 North 49th Street, and I'll put up a contact number for Tosha Davis, 414 Five two six nine zero zero four, and uh, what is it that you all uh, want to accomplish when it's all over, said and done? I, for for me, and this is more personal. Uh, growing up, we never had something that, at, to this magnitude. Uh, we always had our bits and pieces from the separate organizations, as I stated before, but we never had it where everybody collected the Boys and Girls Club, the Running Rebels, we got this. All of these quote unquote separate organizations coming together to make a powerful impact. This is gonna be the, just the start. Uh, this, isn't, this isn't going to be a hallelujah moment where we get, hey, celebrate this, and all right, I'll see you again five years from now. No, we're gonna continue to go on with this momentum, and this is just the start to really bring it, getting unity back in our community and adding neighbors back into our hoods. That's, our, that's the ultimate goal for me. In our community, our young people operate in gangs in a lot of cases, and a lot of it is by neighborhoods and streets that they've created even on their own. They don't even come from the original gang concept. So being able to come and bring everybody together, letting them know that we do and we can operate together is a good way to send a, a single message. As I say to the young people I re work with, you need to replace your G with an F. Go from gun to fun. Mm. And I think that'd be a great message on that day. Indeed. Yeah, I love it because 
because uh, you know so many times you hear people kind of sitting back and just talking about what's wrong mm -hmm. and you know there's no hope and all of these things but really ultimately that journey starts with the first step and I think that you guys are all playing a major role in showing people that action really is there everything. Uh, if there are other organizations out there who feel like they would like to join uh, forces as well, mm -hmm. uh, is that possible? Yes, we're, and that was the point that I was going to make. If you're if you're about action, if you're if you're tired of sitting back, if you're tired of just shaking your head, if you're afraid to talk to young brothers, we we we're, we have that capacity. We will we will train you. We, we will educate you. We will make you uh, make you comfortable with that. So. Um, if you like again, if you can contact any of us, if you're a youth server organization, you can contact any, the Boys and Girls Club, the Runner Rebels. We got this. We're easily accessible. And if you're starting a grassroots, if you have something going on in your basement and you want to get involved to create change, bring change to our community, reach out to us, and we'll be happy to be able to bring you to uh, to join for, uh, forces with you. Yeah, so. it's all very refreshing. Yeah. Well, what it did, it put us together. I'm, I'm 20, 30 years older than right. Deontay. Better looking, though. But, yeah, you uh, you yeah. Got, you got. Uh, hey, what can and I say? And on that respect? note, Andre, we have run out of time. <laughs> <Did we? laughs> well, I got the best point across. <laughs> no, I thank you both for yeah, coming by. I think your message is important, and yeah. continue doing what you're doing. Got you. Deontay Lewis is the program manager with the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Milwaukee and Andre Lee Ellis. He's the executive director of We Got This Incorporated. That is going to do it for today's show. I'm your host, Andrea Williams, as always. I thank you for watching and I do hope you join us again next week as we take another look at our issues in Milwaukee. Have a great day.